All right, I've gotten some clarity on a moment from JJK256 that was a little confusing, so let's talk about it. But if you're not caught up on the manga, we'll see you in the next one. All right, so the moment I'm referring to is at the start of the chapter in the flashback when Gojo is talking about Black Flashes. And if you saw my chapter review, I talked about this more in depth. But the author's note from Gege that says Yuji will surpass Gojo in this regard, I was confused on what that meant. Because the context made it seem to mean that Yuji will surpass Gojo's record of total number of Black Flashes. And so to me, I thought that kind of alleviated some tension in the Yuji Sukuna fight, because if Yuji is going to surpass Gojo, and he hasn't yet, then he obviously is going to survive until he surpasses Gojo. But in the comments of that video, a lot of people had differing interpretations of that line, saying that this was referring to the consecutive Black Flash record, which Nanami is the record holder in and above Gojo. So some people thought that this was saying Yuji will surpass Gojo in the consecutive record, which he would have already done in the Hanami fight or in the Mahito fight, depending on how you interpret it. And just that this flashback was before those events. So, since there was so much confusion, I reached out to Lightning on Twitter, and for those of you not familiar with Lightning, they are an amazing gift to the community, um, provide excellent translations, and so I reached out and asked what their interpretation of this line was. So here's what Lightning said. They said, the asterisk is just a small note in response to Gojo boasting he has more black flashes than Nanami overall. Yuji will surpass that number and he's already surpassed Nanami in consecutive hits. Yuji is the black flash specialist. So Lightning's interpretation was similar to my original one in that that note is saying Yuji will one day surpass Gojo in total number of black flashes. So now what's interesting is when was that Gojo interview and how close is Yuji to breaking that record? Um, because again, back to my chapter review, it made me curious that Gege would reveal that because we now know Yuji will not die until he breaks that record. But again, maybe he's about to break the record or maybe he already has, depending on when that Gojo interview was. So really curious for y'all's thoughts. If you're still, you know, thinking this interpretation is wrong and it means consecutive hits, um, let me know.